In this video, we're going to talk about how to solve radical equations. Radical equations are equations that have roots in them, so square roots, cube roots, quartic roots, and so forth, um, fourth roots. And so the goal in solving a radical equation is to get rid of the radical. But before you can get rid of the radical, you have to isolate it. So you'll isolate the radical, then you'll get rid of it by raising both sides to the power of the radical, and then you'll solve the resulting equation. The only thing you have to do extra is you have to check your answers because when you solve a radical equation, you can get what's called extraneous solutions. That means it works out to be a solution when you work it out, but when you plug it back in, it doesn't work. So let's work an example. So we want to solve this equation, the square root of x plus 10 minus 4 equals x. And this is a radical equation because it has a square root in it. And so the goal first, the first step, is to isolate the radical. So we isolate the radical by getting it on the side by itself. That means I need to get rid of this minus 4. And because it's a minus 4, I move it to the other side by adding 4 to both sides. So we end up getting the square root of x plus 10 equal to x plus 4. Once you have isolated the root, the next thing you want to do is raise both sides to the power of the root. So this is a square root. So that means I need to raise both sides to the second power. And then the next step is to solve the resulting equation. So what equation does this result in? Well, the square root and the square cancel. You get x plus 10. And then x plus 4 squared means x plus 4 times x plus 4. So in order to multiply that out, you can do what's called FOIL, or you can say multiply everything over here by everything over here. But basically, it's x times x, which is x squared, x times 4, which is 4x, 4 times x, which is 4x, and 4 times 4, which is 16. Combine your like terms. You get x squared plus 8x plus 16. Now, what kind of equation are you left with? You're left with a quadratic equation. And how do you know? Because the highest exponent is 2. So whenever you have a quadratic equation, you want to get 0 on one side. So that means I need to get rid of this x, and I need to get rid of this 10 by moving it to the other side. So I'm moving them both at the same time. So that over, those will go away. Those will go away, leaving me with 0. And this will give me x squared plus 7x plus 6. So now I have a quadratic equation that it results in. And I can solve this. This is three terms. The leading coefficient is one, so I should be able to easily factor this. I want to take factors of the last number six that add to seven. That means I want to take two numbers and multiply to give me six, but add to give me seven. So what are factors of six? Well, six times one is six, and six plus one is seven. So the factors that I want are six and one. So this factors into x plus 6, x plus 1. Now, take each of those factors and set them equal to 0. So x plus 6 equals 0, x plus 1 equals 0. And that's because we have two things that multiply to give you 0, so we can use the 0 product property. Subtract 6 from both sides. You get x equal to negative 6. Subtract 1 from both sides. You get x equal to negative 1. So the last step is going to be to check your answers because remember I mentioned earlier you can get what's called an extraneous root or extraneous solutions. So we're going to check our answers by taking these and plugging them back into the original equation. So I'm going to check over here and I'm going to check by first checking negative 6. I'm going to plug negative 6 in to the original equation. So negative 6 plus 10 is 4. And really, this is a question mark. I'm checking to see if it actually equals. So does this equal? So what's the square root of 4? The square root of 4 is 2. So you get 2 minus 4. Does that equal to negative 6? That's negative 2. And negative 2 does not equal to negative 6. So negative 6 does not work. That's actually what's called an extraneous solution. So it worked out in our work, but when we plugged it back in, it doesn't work. So you would now you would not count negative six as a part of your solution. But you also have to check negative one. 
So plug it back into the original equation, wherever there was an x, replace it with a negative 1. And this is a question, does it equal? Negative 1 plus 10 is 9, so that's the square root of 9 minus 4. Square root of 9 is 3, 3 minus 4. So a question mark, question mark is negative 1, and negative 1 equals negative 1. So since that checks out, then my only solution would be the x equal negative 1. Okay, so now you take a moment and pause and see if you can solve 6 equal to 9 plus the square root of 5 minus 3x. So pause it and see if you can solve it. So this is a radical equation because there is a root in it. And the first thing you want to do is isolate that root. So that means you got to get rid of the 9 first. So since that's a positive 9, you would get rid of 9 by subtracting 9 from both sides. So the next thing you want to do, you have the root isolated, so you want to raise both sides to the power of the root. This is a square root, so you raise both sides to the second power. Negative 3 squared is 9, and the square root and the square cancel over here, so you're left with 5 minus 3x. Now you want to solve for x, so you want to subtract 5 from both sides, and you get 4 equal to negative 3x, and divide both sides by negative 3 you get x equal to negative 4 thirds. So in this case, you end up with one solution, but you have to check it to make sure it's not an extraneous root. So you want to plug this, check it by plugging it back into the original equation. So I'm going to check over here. So you get 6 equal to 9 plus 5 minus 3 times a negative 4 thirds. And that's a question mark because we don't know if that equal. We're checking to see if it actually equals. Alrighty. So a negative 3 times a negative 4 thirds. The 3's cancel. The 2 negatives become a positive. So that turns into a, a plus 4. So again, we're checking. Does this equal? So you get 5 plus 4 underneath the root. 5 plus 4 is 9. So 9 plus the square root of 9. The square root of 9 is 3. 9 plus 3 is 12. Does 6 equal to 12? No, it does not. And because those don't equal, the negative 4 thirds is an extraneous root. And so negative 4 thirds does not work, which means you have no solution. So your answer is actually the empty set. And that's a set with nothing in it. Or you can say no solution. So. Did you get that right? Did that one trip you up? So remember, if you want to solve a radical equation, you want to isolate the root first, then you want to raise both sides to the power of the root, and then solve the resulting equation. And always, always, always go back and check your answer. So if you have any comments, make sure you put them below. Questions, comments, make sure you put them below.